air and online as we get it. On to Schenectady now, where city and county leaders getting an earful tonight from both sides of the casino issue. And it is a pricey proposal, one which supporters say will have a huge payoff. Not everybody agrees with that, though. Brandon Lewis joining us now live from Schenectady with more on what folks there had to say tonight. The turnout pretty high. Yeah, it certainly was pretty high, Dorian Greg. Tonight, more than a dozen people spoke in favor and against bringing the casinos to the county of Schenectady. You may remember back in November when the casino referendum first came to the polls, voters in Schenectady County voted against it. But today, a majority of Schenectady County residents who spoke at the public hearing say they are in favor of bringing a casino to the city of Schenectady. Schenectady County hosted its first public comment session on the planned Rivers Casino and Resort at Mohawk Harbor. The developer and operator touted the $300 million facility as one that would bring more than 1,000 jobs and help the local economy. The chamber called it a positive project. This project will have a substantial and positive financial impact on schools, municipal services, and community quality of life programs for both the county and the city of Schenectady residents and businesses. Not everyone was in favor. More than a third of speakers voiced concerns over security, property values, and a potential negative impact on local businesses. You're going to take away from all the local businesses. Casino typically hurt property value in host communities. Some of, the, some of the people here would like to believe that our property value is going to, are going to increase, but it's not. These are expert reports. Rush Street Gaming, which would operate the casino if granted a license, says they'd work with the local community. Future customers said they'd welcome it in their backyard. We trust them. And I am a gambler. I'm not a professional gambler. I'm a retired state worker. <laughs> A state report estimates the city and county would split nearly $11.5 million generated in casino revenue. The uh, one county legislator said that tonight it would be extremely beneficial for the county residents. The city is expected to vote on a resolution in support of bringing casino gaming to Schenectady next week. That's just three weeks ahead of when applications are due on June 30th. Reporting live in Schenectady, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.